college football returns to the video game industry with EA Sports College Football 25. I'm giving away two copies, one for the PS5, the other for the Xbox Series X. Go to the link in the description below and join the giveaway. Now to our feature presentation. Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the heart? Anthem performed by the talented Skylar Cole. And with that, we'll be right back in just a moment. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for James Harden. And maybe it's shocking, and maybe, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. The small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the five spot. And for the Clippers, George and Leonard are the forwards. Norman Powell is out there with Harton. And it's Zubac in at the center locking down the middle. Don't expect a ton of points tonight. Not much scoring break. Each of these teams are excellent defensively. Tell us why. Well, it, it defense starts with effort, and all of these guys really compete. They take pride in that defensively, and boy, you love to see it. Tip-off goes to Denver. Murray against Harden. Murray, the pass to Gordon. Back to Murray, six to shoot. A three, hands it from downtown. Murray already a capable shooter from deep. I think the more shots he takes like this, the better he'll become at. Powell finds Leonard. A second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. And the work rate that Kawhi shows on every play never takes a moment off, and that can lead to second chance opportunities. Now here's Murray. Last game out, he had 14. Crosses over, and it's good on the way in. Murray's got five. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. You really don't want to allow him to get too comfortable, but even with stifling defense, he's going to still find a way to get it in the basket. Zubats kicks to Leonard. Zubats with the screen for Leonard. Wants to get it to Zubats and does. From deep, George. Offensive rebound. Harden with a screen on Gordon. Pass to Harden. He's off on that one. Murray with the defensive effort. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Denver. Greg, no secret, this Nuggets offense revolves around the two-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's the driving force, no doubt. But, Kevin, they've done a good job surrounding him with the right kind of players, guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. Ferociousness from Harden, looking like he wants to tear the rim off. The Nuggets have gone 2-3 here to start off the game. 
Jokic with the screen on Hart. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. Outside Gordon. Denver needs to get off his shot. Unloads from nine, and Jokic gets it to go. The assist by Gordon. Boy, I like how Gordon dishes the ball. When his teammates are open, he finds them on time and on target. Murray against Harden. Knocked away. Zubac's a screen on Murray. That ties the game. He's got five. And Harden has the ultimate green light. I mean, it's uber green, including launching from outside of the state. Now here's Murray, and he drops it in from the low post. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Leonard against Gordon. Leonard, no luck. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. On the wing, Harden. Here's the lob to the hoop. And the dunk by Zubac. Nice find right there from Harden. Excellent at getting his teammates involved. 110 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Murray, shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kawhi Leonard. Clark, and you've mentioned this, what you like about Jamal Murray more and more is he's always creating for others. You know, look, sometimes it's a function of who you play with as to how you proceed. I don't think he's ever been selfish, but he wasn't always surrounded by excellent scores. So this guy just wants to win, and he'll do whatever it takes to do so. And the first one drops. And load management, a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Plumley is checked in for Zubox. P.J. Tucker comes in for George. Bones Highland is checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Russell Westbrook in for James Harden. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. And here's Westbrook from the arc. And Brown pulls it down. Denver in the lead. To the wing right side. Watson kicks to Murray. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Brown. Gets himself open and drills it. There's 38 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Outside Westbrook. Here's the pass to Highland. Plumley sets the pick for Highland. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Los Angeles making a switch here. George is checked in. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Pass to Jokic. Over Plumley, Jokic with the bucket. I know Jokic would perhaps rather find penetration, but he can hit these mid-range looks as well. What a performance by Jamal Murray. He has been the story for the Denver Nuggets. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Back to the action in just a minute.
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what stands out to you from the Nuggets in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against the San Antonio Spurs. So on the floor for Denver, we've got Reggie Jackson, and it's Brown in at the three, the small forward. Pass to Highland. Shot clock at six. The shot by George, wide open. Buries the long-range jumper. And Greg, we still see players embellishing contact. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishes? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the league experiment assessing a technical free throw. It, it's necessary or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down, and, and who wants to see that? Now here's Westbrook. He has yet to score. And that one, good. You know, Westbrook able to score from anywhere. He just is so assertive and confident in what he can do out there. Outside Jackson, passes it to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Out to the right wing. Denver passing it around. Strother hits the three-point bomb. He might not have the long-range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lu says this is definitely a championship team, but it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. Here's Jokic. Paul George making his last shot. And Watson has it in the corner. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. And the Nuggets lead by five. Good find from Jokic. Fantastic at getting that rock to teammates on time on target. Left side, George. Down low, here's Tucker. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. And now let's have a look at the teams that have had the quickest hands in the NBA during the past month. The Clippers in second. What a month they've had defensively. I mean, they've really gotten after it on that end of the floor. Shooting two. And that one misses. And Greg finishing last season with the number one seed in the Western Conference. A lot of people still slept on the Denver Nuggets. And Kevin, they'd had great regular seasons before, only to fall short. But with a healthy Murray and Porter Jr., Jokic finally had the help to get it done. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Leonard, he's checked in for Plumlee. Powell comes in for Bones Highland. And it's Harden in for Russell Westbrook. Boy, if you had the word grinder in the dictionary, P.J. Tucker might be right next to it. His energy and effort and selflessness are contagious. And a chance here to look at the numbers for Murray. He's putting up about 20 points per game, six assists, and three rebounds. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. First one falls for him. To get where you want to go as a team, you need big game players. There's no way around it. And historically, 
Murray tends to play his best on the biggest stage. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Zubats is checked in for P.J. Tucker. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Paul George. And Denver also making a switch. Jordan's checked in. And so Murray nails both of them. Clippers trail by four. Two minutes remaining. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. Entered on the wing. One fifty-one left in the second quarter. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Murray dishes to Porter. Gordon with a screen on Powell. Bob pass to Gordon. Close the alley-oop jam. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. And so Powell will bring it up for the Clippers. Trailing by two. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Kings in Sacramento. What a duel that was. Exciting all the way to the end. Really a shame someone had to walk away with an L. I tell you, it's too bad one of them had to lose because I thought both teams were evenly matched in that game. Al Harden following the miss by Michael Porter from deep. That ties it up. Harden's got seven points in the game. Harden is a guy that seeks out contact, and he's really adept at finishing through it. To the inside, here's Gordon. Takes it off the glass. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Westbrook kicks to Harden. Fifteen seconds left now here in the second. Jordan with the rebound. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling and he still misses, boy, he wishes he had that one back. For three, Murray. And he beats the buzzer. Wow. Yeah, that's just an amazing play to get that ball off in time. I agree. I mean, and to have the composure to lock in and get off a shot he feels confident about, that's good work. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Nuggets lead by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do. Uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Hey folks, are you as excited as we are? Not possible. Lots to catch up on in the first half. But first, let's examine the power rankings as the season winds down. Well, right now for the Nuggets, they're tailing off just a bit. Not the best timing. The competition at the top is fierce. They're still an elite team though. They've hit a bump in the road, but hey, that happens to everybody. Now back to our game. Pretty impressive first half for the Nuggets. Hey, yo, their offense has been clicking. They're making the right reads, and they're making the most of their opportunities. I like their aggressiveness, not just taking what the defense gives them. They're taking what they want. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter.
We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. It's been one outstanding game from Jamal Murray. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the strike time and time again. George and Leonard are the forwards. Harden out there with Powell. And it's Zubat in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now here's Porter. Still yet to score. And it's sent back by Leonard. An elite defender. Leonard is terrific at going after the block. Harden sets the pick for George. It's good from long range. George has got the first basket of the third quarter for the Clippers. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Jokic with the screen on Hart. Murray, no good. Los Angeles has gone 3 of 5 from beyond the arc so far tonight. And last season saw the retirement of former Nugget great and future Hall of Famer Carmelo Anthony Clark. He was one for the ages. And you can't overlook the impact he had, Kevin, and I agree with you. One for the ages as a rookie, helping them break an eight-year playoff drought, and he never missed the postseason in his seven-plus years in Denver. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. Nikola Jokic amazes teammates with his vision. Aaron Gordon says he's a basketball genius. He plays it like chess, seeing it three steps ahead. You've always got to keep your eye on him when he has the ball because he'll find you. Even if you don't think you're open, you're open. He's a point guard, just in a center's body. Kevin? <laughs> that is very true. David, thanks. Al Harden following the miss by Michael Porter from deep. Leonard finds Zubats. Jokic with it, and it's Harden picking him up. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And with the chance, let's take a look now at the numbers for Harden. And tremendous confidence and consistency at the foul line. He ranks among the top 15 in free throw percentage. And as you mentioned, top three in assists right now. He does a great job of running the offense, spotting the open guy, and making the sound delivery. The Clippers in the lead. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. chance now to take a look at some numbers for Jamal Murray. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know he hadn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Leonard kicks to Harden. Zubat's a screen on Murray. Lock at six. Puts the move on. Rebound by the Nuggets. And as James Harden has gotten older, Clark, he's made it clear he wants to contend for title. And that's a typical progression for a player. You can't blame him. I mean, he's done just about everything you can do individually. He's aware of the fact that a championship would add to his career immeasurably. Now, here's George following the miss by Jamal Murray. Jokic with the steal. Murray against Harden. To stop the drought, and it's Murray laying it in. Murray's got 16 points. 
Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far, and when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Here's Leonard. Hits the target from 18 feet. Leonard's got the lead up to one now for Los Angeles. Excellent job using the mid-range there. Wow, that's a go-to shot for him. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Westbrook and for the Clippers. And Denver also making a switch. Jackson, he's checked in for Porter. One fifty-one left in the third quarter. Traps in the tray. And Jackson has become a reliable three-point shooter. That's a shot you got to respect. Harden against Jackson. The pass to George. Over Caldwell Pope. The shot by George, no good. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Nuggets. The lead is two. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Here's Jokic. Jokic doing the job inside. I have a lot of respect for Jokic's feel for the game. He plays the right way, sees everything, great vision, and he processes what he sees so quickly. Harden outside. Oh, no good on the triple. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Murray finds Caldwell Pope. Back to Murray. Outside Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Over to the wing. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. And now a seven-point nugget lead. Zubats a screen on Jackson. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. And Los Angeles with some changes. Mason Plumley's checked in for Zubats. Amir Coffey comes in for George. And Bones Island subbed in for James Harden. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Murray with it. 16 points for him. Five to shoot. A three ball. Here's Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. Really rock solid decision making from Murray. Assessing the situation and then making the precise. He made it. He got it. He got it. Big time. Wow. Oh, incredible buzzer beater there, guys. This crowd is going wild. And so it's Denver with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And against one of the toughest offensive players in the league, they've been doing a great job shutting down James Harden. We'll return shortly. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. 
Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Taking a look at the Nuggets. They've got Nikola Jokic. And it's Jackson in at the point. Here's Brown. Defended by George. Jokic passes to Jackson. Back to Jokic. Jokic rising up. Quick reaction that time by Jokic. Very impressive. Good at rolling to the right spot after setting the screen and doing it quickly. Outside Westbrook. Feeds to Plumlee. Over Jokic. Shot is good, and the Nugget lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Plumlee. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Denver passing it around. Watson kicks to Jackson. Another three for Denver. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Here's George. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. He's well put together at 6'8", about 220 pounds. Paul George does a good job on the old boards. Jackson passes to Jokic. Inside, stolen by Tucker. The wide open look here for Highland. And another three for the Clippers. Boy, Tucker ever unselfish in how he goes about his game. Nice job finding his teammate there. Denver calls timeout. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Substitution here for the Clippers. Zubat is checked in for Plumlee. Kawhi Leonard comes in for P.J. Tucker. Mann's checked in for Bones Highland. And it's Harden in for Russell Westbrook. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. Now he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Denver with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Harden against Murray. Pass to Jokic. Just five to shoot. Back to Murray. Three-pointer. There's Gordon with the three. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got three assists now in this one. Well, you can't let Gordon have room from outside. I mean, he's more than capable of knocking down those perimeter shots. Zubat's a screen on Murray. Pass to Leonard. Over Gordon. 
and it's Leonard missing. And, and that's really just not heads-up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody's guarding you. To the middle. Here's Jokic, and Jokic slams it in. There's just no stopping Jokic on the inside. Clippers trail by nine. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Harden scanning the floor. This is a two, Leonard. Over Gordon. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Harden. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team. But he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. Murray with the bounce pass. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Another three for Denver. Love the rise and fire approach from KCP. Got to be impressed with this guy's confidence. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by 10. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Zubats a screen on Murray. Entered on the wing. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. So far, the game plan has been to give the ball to Kawhi. And with how well it's working, there's no reason to change. Clippers trail by eight. And here's Harden. Leonard inside. He's against Gordon. They get it back. And it's Leonard missing. And Murray's got the ball here for the Nuggets. At the elbow, Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Wide open look here for Murray. From outside, off the mark. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. There's the lob to Harden. And the jam by Harden. And you know the ball's going to Harden when the game's tight. Terrific at delivering and producing down the stretch. And an intentional foul right there. James Harden. Second personal foul. First team foul. Murray against Harden. And they double up Murray. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. And the Nuggets lead by nine. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. Help that one. Coming off a big game, his confidence could be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. The clock now can just run out for the Nuggets. 
Caldwell Pope outside. So the Nuggets win it. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. Aaron, big night offensively. What is clicking for everyone right now? We're just moving the ball. We're moving the ball, man. That's a, a big part of our offense, making sure the ball doesn't stick and that people are making shots. It was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, DA, thanks again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Jamal Murray.